What's up guys? Back in the woods. Merry Christmas Eve to those who celebrate. It's not gonna snow here. I wish it does. I like when it snows on Christmas Eve and Christmas, but this is peaceful. I'm outside right now. I'm in the woods. There's no one here. I imagine the majority of people are celebrating right now. I'll be back with my family soon, but I wanted to make a video today with you guys. Go over a 2023 recap what I would do differently if I could go back in time. I imagine there's gonna be new investors who come into the market 2024. I imagine a lot of you have made mistakes like we all do. Experience is the best teacher. I tell you guys all the time, the only way you learn in this market is to make mistakes, is to have skin in the game, is to make moves. You can only make so much progress watching on the sidelines until you're actually a player in the game and then you figure out what works and what doesn't. And, you know, I want to first say I'm very happy I've been in this market for this long because I've seen a lot happen. I uh, made some great moves. My portfolio is super bullish right now. I'm up a lot of money. I cannot wait for the bull cycle. I'm still aggressively DCAing. I just posted a few buy alerts the other day. Uh, my Patreon and Discord members were having a great time. I just posted a a private live stream channel on there because I am doing live stream soon. Uh, by the way, if you're interested, I do have three tiers of Patreon and Discord. You get a lot of value depending on what you're looking for. If you want to follow my trades, you want to talk to me, be a part of these live streams, be in a position to take profits when the time is right before the masses do, I highly encourage you, don't do this yourself. Be a part of a support group of like-minded investors. But that being said, I want to go over things I would do differently. Because I can tell you guys, I did this right, I did this right, I did this right. But if you want to grow and be better, you have to admit the mistakes you made. You have to admit the things you didn't do well the previous time. Because the only way you get better is by being humble. I'm a very humble person. I don't have an ego. I try to detach my things uh, from this like superiority complex that a lot of people have. Um, but... Especially if you're new coming in or even if your experience in your portfolio is not where you want it to be. It's very important to have an open mind. Um, especially when it comes to evaluating yourself and your portfolio and also your decisions that you've been making up until this point. So a big thing for me that held me back when I first started was taking the plunge. Uh, for those who don't know, when I first came in, I was eyeing up Shiba Inu a lot it was eight zeros like two at the time on crypto.com and i was trying to put like five thousand dollars in but i couldn't connect my bank on crypto.com and rather than being persistent and trying i decided to wait for a better time to make that move and since that time last bull cycle shiba and you went to four zeros nine I could have been a billionaire. Crazy. Another mistake I made was letting the FUD, the fear, uncertainty, and doubt get me on some coins. Solana was the biggest one I've had. It's over a hundred dollars right now. At one point I was holding it for the in the high twenties. It was like twenty-seven, twenty-eight dollars or around there, thirty-two dollars. When FTX went under when Sam Bakeman Free got arrested, when Alameda Research was selling Solana, it tanked to $8. I sold it at 13, thinking it was gonna hit five, or at the very worst, go to zero, like the majority of people thought at the time. And Solana went to $8. Everybody was hating on it because it's very easy to hate crypto in this space when it's down. Everybody was hating on it, saying it was centralized garbage. The VCs pumped and dumped it. It was not going to recover. Um, it goes down every five minutes. This one's better. Uh, it's never going get, to get back in the top 10 again or you know, let alone top five. And Solana surpassed everybody's expectations. Everybody, despite these opinions, even my own. It made its way to the top 10, which no one expected. And it made its way to the top five, which no one expected. And it flipped XRP and BNB. Two big cryptos. 
with large communities. Now, some are saying it's going to flip Ethereum. I think we're getting a little too ahead of ourselves there. I think it, it might, in, you know, in due time, who knows, but it's too early to tell. But that being said, the flood got to me then. I guess you could say I panicked, sold my crypto. Even though I wasn't like so scared at the time, I was trying to be greedy and swing trade it. I was holding a lot of Solana back then and the greed got to me. The fear and greed got to me because I was a little nervous that it was going to tank even further. But I was also being greedy, trying to capitalize like the majority of people do. So a lesson here is don't let the fear and greed get to your head. You can't be an emotional, successful investor. Hear that again because I'm telling you guys from my experience, you cannot be an emotional, successful investor because at some point it will get to you i see some of you not all of you you're selling your casper right now some of you are going all into some you know crazy cryptos and some of you are questioning certain cryptos like the other day i saw a comment someone's like bro can you please cover quant it's a stable coin and then literally today today quant is up it was up to like 123 dollars like that it went up is it up a thousand percent? No, but it recovered, right? And I'm seeing comments today. Uh, bro, can you make an update on this one? A lot of people I notice, they always want updates on cryptos when they're consolidating or when they're dipping a little bit. See, this is why I tell you guys, it's so important to be an educated investor. You have to have strong conviction in your place because if you don't, you'll easily be shaken out. It would only be a matter of time if you don't have the conviction. Conviction is king in this space. Even if you're holding Bitcoin, all it takes is one very confident person to tell you Bitcoin's worthless and say it's going to zero or say this one's better and you will sell it. There's some very confident people on here that can literally manipulate you guys and you won't even know it. That's how shady this market is. So conviction matters the most because if you want to make the most amount of money, you can't have someone do it for you. Now, I know the majority of you know who are in my Discord, a lot of you guys like my buy works and sell works. Totally get it. That's fine. I had the shark tier for that reason and the whale tier, right? And for those who don't want to follow those trades, I have a dolphin tier. But the majority of my members there are their own people, their own investors, driving their own cars. That's what I teach there. That's how I have my mindset here in the real world. I always tell you guys, you got to be your own leader, be your own person because... Even if you have the best picks, if you make millions, let's just say this cycle, you're not going to be disciplined and mature enough to handle that kind of money to multiply even further. A lot of people who win the lottery here in the world, they usually win. And then within like five years or less, they go broke because they don't have the mental maturity, the discipline, the emotional strength and the responsibility and accountability to handle the rewards to handle the responsibility of their life changing. So if you make these habit changes now and you take control of your portfolio, you take control of your life, when you see the reaps of your rewards, all the hard work you're putting in, you're gonna feel that more confident, that more fulfilled because for one, you did it yourself. And for two, you can now amplify it further, multiply those profits. Imagine turning you know, $1 million, which is the goal for many of us to cycle into five or 10 or 20 or $100 million. Imagine becoming a whale. It's possible. You got to believe it first, right? But you have to be your own person. I can't stress that enough. Now, I never had this issue. Ever since I started YouTube, I've been pretty much doing my own thing. I don't copy anyone. All my content is from me, my own head, my own research. You know, I've been lucky enough to have grown up the right way to where I don't have to get validation from other people to make choices. But if this is a lesson for you, maybe you, you know, succumbed to other people before or you made decisions you weren't completely confident in because you just weren't sure about it or you just weren't sure about yourself. These are some things that you have to fix, some mistakes that you have to rectify heading into 2024. Another lesson I learned that probably a lot of us learned the hard way is uh, focusing too much on trading crypto instead of buy and hold investing. Uh, the thing with trading crypto is it's very addicting. It's like a dopamine rush. Like it's literally like you're on a roller coaster. That's how it feels. 
the problems I had with trading was that once I made a few good trades, I had like this king mindset that every trade I was going to do uh, was going to be perfect and work in my favor. And I became increasingly falsely confident to where I started getting, you know, bigger positions, making, you know, riskier trades. And then sooner or later, you make a bad trade. Now, I know if you're watching YouTube, you never see these low lights. You always see the highlights. Oh, I made 100x. I made 1,000x. A lot of these traders try to sell you guys fallacies that all their trades are perfect and all they do is make millions of dollars. Yeah, they're on YouTube making videos, right? But um, that was something that I definitely learned the hard way was I made like, you know, a few good trades. I was even doing this in stocks, right? I was trading uh, AMC stock, a meme stock. And I was making like $100 a day, $200 a day. And then one time I made a bad trade where I lost like $75. And then for the next few days, I kept trying to get it back, get it back, get it back. Because I was so used to winning that I didn't want to lose. And when I kept trying and trying and trying, I did what? I became more emotional. And I started making bigger risks, bigger chances. And I ended up losing more money. And then one single trade... I impeded all my progress of the previous three to five trades. And it was at that point that I realized trading, although it has its place, is not worth spending all your time on. Because the entire time while I was making these trades, whether it was successfully or <laughs> not doing that well, I was staring at graphs all day. I wasn't the most productive. I was at the gym, literally in between sets, checking my app, checking the phone, reading the graphs. Every single minute of the day, my entire life was there. I was eating lunch or eating dinner, checking the graphs. I had Sports Center on, but I'm looking at my phone, checking the graphs. I'll wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, and then I'm doing what? Checking the graphs. Like it was so addicting that it literally became a full time job that I didn't want to have. So, trading, although I still do it from time to time, I don't make it uh, as big of a focus as I do now. Like my focus now with investing is buy and hold investing. By that, I mean you buy and you hold for like two years or at least for the bull cycle. Um, if I do trade, it's usually meme coins, low caps, or cryptos that I don't really care about that give me short-term gains so that I can put into more blue chip utility long-term plays. Um, but even trading, right? I probably do it now at most 20% of the time. That's actually being more liberal than I actually do it. I probably trade like 10% of the time. And even then, like I make a good trade and then something happens and all of a sudden I end up missing out and hating myself, right? A good example is Bluezell. I made a 3X on Bluezell and then I'm like, great, I'll buy the dip when it comes back down, like the majority of us say, when it comes back down. And then what do Bluezell do? It's 7X from there. And I hated myself for it because even though I made a 3x and thought I was like a god, you know, making a 3x, whatever, there was uh, literally a 7x gain on the table that I just let go right through my fingers. So there's lessons learned even with trading. So that's my overall recap of mistakes I've made, lessons I learned, what I can do better. Again, this stage where we're at right now, the reflection, is very important for you. But you have to make sure... When you're really doing this, you detach your ego, you have an open mind. Because you'll see a lot of people on here that have these insane egos. They never want to admit when they're wrong. They literally will lie to you in the face and say they're perfect. Listen, nobody here is perfect, okay? Nobody is. I always tell you guys, the only way you learn is by making mistakes. You have to embrace being wrong to eventually be right. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but it literally is how it goes in this market it's how it goes in life like you know relationships businesses your job everything comes to a point where you're a newbie where you have no experience no knowledge and you learn along the way you get better as long as you're going forward you'll be in a better position it's okay to take a couple steps back here and there but the end goal is going further towards progress that's how you got to think. And that's my mentality heading into 2024. So I thought this would be a great video to share with you guys because I love this time of year. I'm with my family, my friends. I'm trying to get my family on board with crypto. Let me know if you guys are trying to do the same. But uh, it's very important to realize, you know, all the progress we've been making, all the decisions we've been making and uh, what's to come and what we can focus on 
heading into the new year. But anyways, now I want to hear from you. What are some lessons you learned the hard way in 2023? And what is going to be your focus for 2024? Drop your comment down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.